today we play Best of One. The only one in Best of One. Not Virginia Taxes. Ta-da! You Orion. This is standard. Hello and welcome back to another day in the arena. It's me, it's CGV. Today in the arena, Merfolk. It's one of the types of Ixalan, and while it's often overshadowed by the vampires and even the pirates these days, there are a number of merfolk in the format, and there are a lot of explore synergies too. <laughs> explore so we have some sweet merfolk deck here today to play this one comes from us comes from us but cgb did you just say no questions this one comes to us from unagil who played this deck in an mtg a uh, mtgo magic the gathering online qualifier event and got 31st which has to mean they won a match or two it must mean something like that but this deck is loaded with merfolk so i'm excited to see how it goes there is a pirate kite sail larcenist which kind of says something to the power of this card is like a removal spell on a body a brutal cathar ish effect in blue kind of amazing we also have cavern of souls we've got a whole bunch of new cards and i up the count of boseju and otawara because if you explore and put lands in your hand it would be great to get some lands in your hand that are also spell like so that was my contribution to the deck so what do you think is there a merfolk deck out there are any of you out there just thriving winning with merfolk is explore a constructed mechanic it, it was back in the jade light ranger days but we don't have anything quite like a jade light ranger here and now let's see what tishana's tide binder does because that is a card that is a rare that we have hope for when it enters the battlefield it basically freezes a permanent it counters its ability and then it can't use that ability again while this is on the battlefield and it has flash so i'm kind of excited to see uh how tishana's tide binder works out so thank you to the sponsors of this video coolstuffing.com promo code cgb5 for a discount ultimate guard link in the description all the protection products that i use on my collection and moxfield the best deck building site on the internet click the deck building link in the description and check them out let's dive in let the merfolk nonsense begin message from cgb hq you play that yes we have the covert go blue dinosaur rider playmat you can get this sweet playmat and the sweet new token as well in a bundle at coolstuffinc.com slash cgb that's covert go blue hq coolstuffinc.com slash cgb get yours today for the easy price of $19.99 On the draw. The worst possible sentence in best of one. It's not bad. It's not good. It's definitely missing our heavy hitters. Very curious if the Tidebinder is going to do anything cool. Doesn't it look like Tishana's Tidebinder is freaking huge? Like Godzilla size? Not the size you expect for a 3-2. Any time. A cave. Interesting. Third tide binder is kind of funny. Can I counter a cave being activated? I think I can. Two caves. What is going on? It says, whenever creature control explores a land card, you may put the land from your hand on the battlefield tapped. Whenever it explores a non-land, put a counter on it. Okay. Great if I have explore cards available. This deck wraths the board with some kind of a cave-based board wipe, right? I can't remember if that's four or five mana. I don't play limited. That is another cave. Oh boy, time to play flash magic. Surveil, not a land. Also not something I'm looking for. So I could counter that ability and I think it turns off journeys, but I think we've got to be ready for board wipes going forward. Splunking. All right, let's hit that. 
I don't want them gaining life drawing cards. I just want them spending three mana on nothing. Ooh, we could hit the journeys. We get a land with a type. Cost me two, and I can't make disappear, but then I get it out of the graveyard? Nah. Not worth it. Ugh. Okay. This is weird, but I think it's the way. No! No tortoise. No caves. Wayfinder. 3-3 three, three is frustrating. I have no explorer going on. I can't get through a 3-3. Three, three. I just have to run tide binders at them. Okay, they're going to block. Maybe they have the more they want to do with this? More splunking. Awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him again. Three mana do nothing enchantment, baby. I would like to explore. Oh my God, a land. And we put it onto the battlefield. Tapped. Decline. It's a trap. In and battlefield. Oh, now it now we're kicking into gear. It was looking awkward. They're dead. Caves, 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 caves. Nope. All caves will be destroyed by the Marfolk, the true cave lords of Ixalan. I've heard of this guy. Okay then. Uh, fishy. We do fishy things. Merfolk. Scout, scout. Whoa, you've already got something? You're holding priority on me? We need a two drop, so that stays. Consider. Uh. I eat. Brar. Scouting you. Reinforcements. You wanna. You wanna gang up on this. Interesting. A trade has been made. I honestly don't know if it's the legend, LVD, YouTuber. I honestly don't know. I think he'd use an emote, and he has told me that there's another one out there. But here we are. Ah, battle cry. The value in this card. You think they think this trades as well? You think I should turn it into a treasure? It's a kind of a tough call. I definitely want to use a three mana card. Do I want to trade these? And they end up with a bat? Eh. Nice treasure. But I think they can sacrifice it to make a bat, right? Or does it lose all abilities? I think it also loses all abilities. Mmm. -hmm. That's a card. Or three. Again. Two treasures. Need to hit lands. Really need to hit lands. Merfolk turning to some pirates just to have removal in their deck. Weak. Land. <sighs> Come on, deck. What are you doing to me? What are you doing to me? Just let me untap slightly ahead and we should have this. They played the Aganjo. That can't be good for us, really. There's the land. Get lost. Don't forget to pay your wards.
If I make them sack the two treasures, then I don't mind this getting lost. I hate getting bullied on mana. Like, did it have to be a vine stock? No! No, not another one! Uh, done. I guess next turn I have to try to get this again. This game's over. It was over when we didn't draw land. It's very sad. I'm not sure what's up with the bats and the battle cry. That seems a little off to me, but what do I know? Okay, more creatures. They've got the whale. I don't know how I'm gonna deal with that. Yep. Prepare to attack. And convoke? Jesus. Oh, meeting of the mines? Okay. At least it's not the 4-4. Four four. What can I do? What can I do? We've got some okay blockers. This 6-6 six six is a problem. I guess I have to start getting my echo up to a respectable size. Pilgrimage, that's a good way to keep stuff coming. Have it become a copy of another creature. There's nothing to gain from that. Decline. I see 13 damage. Go into one, probably, if I play two creatures. I mean, that's a good way to make a lot of creatures with the pilgrimage. No, no, no! Come on! I was so close to getting back into this! Ah! Did you have to mana screw me too? God! Ah! The feels! The feels are so bad. Well, this is an alright hand. Let's see what we can do with it. I would like to explore. That was the whole point of the deck, and I feel like I've had an explore trigger here and there, but I feel like the deck for the most part just isn't exploring. I, okay. That you, that's pretty good. In that case, I don't even know that I want to drop the schooner here because I need a creature to crew it, but I guess we'll save make disappear for the three drop. There you go. Actually, this is great. Have a treasure. Swing explorer. Well, I have enough land this game. That's exciting. So do they. See, a plus one, plus one counter there would have uh, changed everything. Tidebinder. Let's see what they do. 
Charm Scoundrel. Shut it down, shut it all down. <clears throat> nice one one, nerd. Tick. Yep, schooner threatening. Hey, I'm actually gonna get something out of this pilgrimage, I think. With the Wara. Not enough legends though. Whenever one or more non-token merfolk. I think they're just gonna play around whatever now, but I still think this is the play. Let this resolve. They make treasure. Weird. So they can Godric? They cannot Godric! Care to try again? It's a block. Down to 11. Hex catcher off the top is beautiful. Actually, I'm just gonna flash, flash this in now, so we can do this. Aggression. Creature on top is nice. Drop him to seven. Two blockers ready to go. Scoop it up. Mono red defeated. I feel a little better. I feel a little better. It's as blue a name as you'll ever see. On the draw. Always on the draw, but I got Cavern. But, uh, yep. Blue white control. Candy control. I wonder where they got it. Here comes a legendary 2-3. Makes my exploring better. It got lost. Well, maybe I turn one of those into a treasure. They don't have counter magic right now. They might want to blow up the cavern. So if I target the candy trail and turn it into the treasure, is that a good thing or a bad thing for them? I'm honestly not sure. They probably want this card. We could use the map token there. I think we wait. Has to be a merfolk. Exploration happening. Tidebinder, cool. Uh, decline. Sunfall or what? They know one trick and one trick only. Celestis is a treasure. Attack. You pay the one.
Tide bind that. Just another thing that the tide binder shuts down. I really want to get this pilgrimage going, make some one ones so I have something to sack to this make disappear that I feel good about. I have a bad feeling about what's about to happen. There it is. Uh, all right, well. Am I giving them back their Celestis? I guess I am. Feels real bad. But I need a merfolk to make these things work. All the green cards in the deck are merfolk, so you don't have to worry too much about tapping your green sources, unless it's like Boseju or something that you want. This is fine. So we really did want the plus one plus one counter there so that this can attack through the incubator token. Looks like they're going for the block. I hope they have another farewell. And they have an untapped land, which I'm guessing they drew. No? Weird. Yeah, you, you need to be activating that Celestis. The Celestis might doom us. The card selection's amazing. And we'll see if they can find another farewell. They did not loot. Why didn't they loot? I could shut it down. Enough is enough. That's the card. Make them cast it from graveyard. Even though it's better selection, it eats more of their turn. Interesting. Map token go bird. I mean, it's a creature. Better than not a creature. They do another farewell, it's a disaster. No no way around that. They made those choices pretty quick. That's why it's good to be blue white. Never didn't have it. And now the 5-5 five, five dwarfs the schooner. Game over, man. Game over. They should activate their Celestis. They don't use it enough. I guess they need their mana up. Oh, they're a witness deck? Ugh. And they're gonna take this hit for that? I guess. I, they probably can't lose now, right? I, I guess they can, but... Hmm. If I hit a Boseju off of this, I can get my way through the 5-5. Five, five. Two to the top seems good. Oh, Tawara. Okay. D 
did not need an island. Did not need that island. I've drawn no counter spells against my double cavern draw. That's kind of sad. I would like very much for them to have some bad draws, which they just haven't had at all. <laughs> Discard Realm Breaker. All right, hit the Boseju, come on. Come on. I mean, it's a good old merfolk, so I guess. Here's Retribution. Oh my god. I want you to know I hate you. New opponent. New opponent, please. And we are back for the post-game wraps and the little wrap-up tale at the end of the video. And you know what? You're not having deja vu. You've probably heard this before if you watch every single day. It's that time again. Covert Go Travel. This one is a personal vacation. The only like personal, personal vacation, no work vacation that I've had this year. So I'm going to be gone for a considerable amount of time, probably back in the studio recording on December 7th. So I'm out of here for a while. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody who celebrates that particular holiday. And I hope the rest of you have a really good time in the Lost Caverns of Ixalan. As usual, I'm going to hustle to record video ahead of time. I am very nervous. I don't know if this time I will get enough done. I've said it before. This is going to be the, the biggest test I've had. I need to do like over 20 videos in two days. <laughs> it's fine. This is fine. I'm totally fine. As always, I do it because I love it and because I know that somewhere out there, there is somebody whose day is a little bit brighter because they got a video from the one in best of one. So the best thing you can do for me is enjoy the videos, leave a like, leave a comment and share with a friend. Uh, let them know that, I don't know, what, what would you let them know about this channel? Hi, do you like magic? He plays a lot of standard and... He makes fun of his viewers in the intro and he doesn't take questions. And, um, yeah. Anyway, come up with something to say. I don't really know. Tell your friends about it. Some people watch me just to hate on me. It's fine. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I'll take your ad rev. It's good. But uh, here in this particular outro, the thing I always want to let you know is, number one, yes, videos are shorter. It will not always be this way. It's a symptom of recording all this stuff in advance. Number two, you're cool. <laughs>